se sakura te yaseni To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the night Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. We're going to be cooking, we're going to be cleaning. Um, definitely wait till the end of this video because I share exactly how we make our homemade um, eggnog recipe. You guys, a bunch of you asked me on my Instagram channel at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson how to make it. So I had my husband do another batch and y'all will come along with us to see how we make that. And then I'm also going to be doing a little 5 a.m. morning routine. So if you are new, definitely hit the subscribe button. I would love it if you join my channel. And for all of you who are returning, hi and good morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are, let's get started. This morning I so clear a lot as any to see the so every morning I like to do two things. One, I'm working on my daily 30 day challenge. If you haven't already, go to my website at laurennicholson.com and download your free copy. It's a great exercise to get you fit and strong in your mind and body for 2021. And I'm also preparing my vlog schedule just to make sure I don't forget anything since the kids are home for winter break. I have to be a little bit more organized to continue to get my work done. So pretty much every morning I will work out for 30 minutes down in our gym before the kids even get up. I have to get up a little bit earlier when the kids have school, but you guys know I absolutely love our new gym. Check out my new home gym, Decorate With Me, and I picked up this Lifespan treadmill this um, summer and I am in love with this. They did not sponsor this. I can fit my computer on it. It's super slim. It's not super bulky. Um, I did notice with like other treadmills, they had all this stuff I didn't really need. I just wanted to be able to push a button, start running, watch my you know TV or check my emails, do whatever I need to do, and um, and then store it properly. So I really love that. I also do a couple workouts. If you guys did my 30 day challenge, you could we probably downloaded some of the apps that I love to use, totally free and easy. But that's kind of how I get things started before I head up and get ready for my day. chickens got out. My pumpkin. I wonder who else got out. I can hear them. They see you, Butter. right there. Oh, hello, Enzo. <laughs> you see the chickens out there? Want to go play with your parents? Come on, we need to go make breakfast. I know, it's a terrible life. You're keeping me on so today I'm just gonna be making a super easy recipe um, I like to actually do this when the kids have school but since I have to actually work this day I decided to make these and it's basically they're just like if you've ever been to Starbucks and you get the little egg bites it's the same recipe so it's just eggs I'm using 10 eggs here um, cheddar cheese and I'm also gonna do two different ones one with cheddar cheese and bacon and one with Gruyere and bacon um, I like the Gruyere and bacon so does my husband so I'm just splitting the recipe so I can do both but um, you throw those in the oven for about 20 minutes. By the time the kids have gotten dressed and they're downstairs um, every morning, these things are ready to go and the kids absolutely love them.
Okay guys, so it's a little later in the day. I had about four conference calls this morning and now the kids have had lunch and I'm gonna need to clean the kitchen. It's an absolute mess. I did have to get on a Zoom today, so I did have to change my shirt, but I am going to clean up the kitchen. I've gotta get laundry started and I also have to do all the sheets in the house. So I ran upstairs before my first Zoom, grabbed all the sheets, they're all washing right now, and then we'll get those changed as well.
thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself the kitchen and all the bedrooms clean and ready to go we are going to go downstairs and start making some eggnog I apologize in advance for this video but um, I had my husband do it and it's a little bit more vlog style so I hope you guys enjoy it and if you are going to depart here I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you guys very soon for my Christmas undecorate with me and how I organize all of that I cannot wait to show you guys bye We got a little chili going over here. So a tradition we love is to make eggnog for our friends and deliver it two days before Christmas. So you'll need, we have eight of these. These are just um, one quart each, so we have eight there. You'll need two pounds of powdered sugar. I was super pumped to find this because they were sold out at Target. You'll need two dozen eggs. You'll need some Maker's Mark whiskey, a little white rum, we're using Bacardi, and then this is some brandy my husband made from distilled wine. So that's really exciting. That's kind of our, our secret to this. So what we're gonna do is mix this in batches and then put them back in here so people can close them. And then we'll come over here. I just use my KitchenAid to mix them up. I'm gonna have my husband do this because I gotta make a phone call for work right now. But we're gonna get started on that. 
so we can give this to our friends tomorrow. We are two days out from Christmas Eve, so we'll probably deliver these tomorrow morning to everybody, but I hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below, do you guys actually drink eggnog? Because we love, absolutely love eggnog in this house. To get started, we are gonna actually separate the yolks from the eggs, and we're gonna be keeping both the egg whites and the yolks separated. We're gonna be doing um, the eggnog in batches. So the first half we'll be using the um, yolks, and then the second half we'll be using the um, egg whites, and then we're gonna fold them in together. Yeah, so as a production manager, one of my jobs, one of the parts, part of my responsibility is I hire the crew, the staff that comes out. So I feel a real responsibility. You got your eggnog sweater on? Mm -hmm. Make a nog? Make a nog, dog. With this one, you That's, take your two dozen eggs. Yeah. And we'll get our, our mix on here. It's just the yolk. Okay. So here we're gonna form like the base of the nog. So we'll add the sugar. Yeah. And then we'll add some booze to it and then we'll let it sit and let it come up to um, like temperature. It also dispels the stink of the egg that comes mm. out. So you don't want, it's eggnog. This is all pure ingredients. Yeah. Yummy. So you put on lowest speed. This okay. is two pounds of confectioner sugar. This is the, the stuff they use at the bakery. Also known as powdered sugar? Powdered sugar guy. Come on, you gotta make it, this is legit. <laughs> Slowly. You'll see there's just a little bit on there, but you literally meter it in. There's a little dusting on there, and then you give it a moment. And we'll slowly dissipate it and integrate it into the, the yolk. So at a point, this is gonna, you're gonna look at it and go, there's no way that I can put all of this sugar into that. But if you do it slowly, you'll get it in there. And you wanna do this first before you add your booze. So this is four cups of my brandy. I think I want to do it in three cups this time. And so with this, you can do anything you want. You can do Brandy, whiskey, rum. I like to do a combination. Just because the flavor is more complex, it makes better layers. Yeah. Three cups of brandy. Now we'll get in a little maker's mark. A cup of this. Oh yeah, get your party started. And that's that. I'm gonna give it a scrape just to make sure all of our sugar's off the sides. And that's it? That's it. But this needs to sit. Okay. This needs to sit for at least an hour because the alcohol is gonna work on the egg and it's gonna get rid of all that stinky kind of sulfury egg fart. Mm. Oh, yeah. You can even hear it. Ah, oh, it's no joke right there. That's the... Don't get all these goodies out. 
all gets mixed back in. So we let that sit for an hour. And now what we'll do. So what do we have here? So here we've got four quarts of heavy whipping cream. Okay. Not half and half, not vitamin D milk, heavy whipping cream. And what's in there? There is no substitute. Those are the egg whites. That's our steeping nog. That's the base. Just the egg yolks and the sugar. And this is the bucket because we're going to make probably close to three gallons by the time we're finished. Okay. What's this? That's the mother. So this is last year's eggnog. This is the alcohol on the bottom. It's separated. And so that's why this thing can live that long is because it's fortified using the, the heavy alcohol. Why do you have all this? So I like to use a combination of whiskeys when I do this last part. So I'll use um, a sweeter whiskey, a drier Japanese whiskey, and then we'll do a balance of um, Bacardi rum, clear. So first we'll awesome. just put these all. We gotta go up high for dad. Four quarts. And then when you can, can you get me the whisk well? Yeah. Put this guy in there. Okay. Can you get my little um, mm -hmm. spatula, please? Just whip all this in a fine mix. What are you putting in there? A little salt. And then I want a little vanilla in there too. So vanilla. Half a teaspoon, teaspoon. Got my salt. Lock her up, get her going. And then this one, you can go all the way to high. You just want to get the Stiff peaks, but still make it moist. You don't want to dry the egg white out. You can go in and out, stop it for a minute, see how it loads up, give it some more air, stop it, see how it loads up. Kind of hollow. So we'll just kind of stop it for a minute. Let's check it out. No. Now to me, that's probably plenty. Mm-hmm. 
it's just starting to get stiff peaks. If you go too hard, the peaks will get stiff and it won't incorporate into the knob. Mm. So you'll be really careful. If you go past it, it will take you like an hour to incorporate all the yeah. blocks of the egg white. Okay. So that's beautiful right here. Okay. And so here, because it's a um, egg whites, you know, these are really, it's really delicate. So you want to kind of fold this in. So you use this and you just kind of slowly get it going in there. Fold it in. It's a little clumpy, but it, this is exactly the consistency that you want. you're doing is you're trying to distribute the egg white and all the little tiny bubbles that it has mm -hmm. to give body to the eggnog. So this hasn't been open since last year. So with this one, it's always important to taste it. So this is just for mixing. Oh my God, it's so There's great. nothing special about it, but you really should mix um, this up to incorporate because you've got so many different parts, so many different textures. You go and you fill your mother for next year. And this one you want to let sit for maybe 10 minutes because some of the bubbles are going to break down and you can displace more area. So it's a really clean fit for, for next year because we won't see him until next year. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be in our Christmas memories
Christmas memories. 